Well, lot to talk about with you, but let's start by talking about that goal. How pleasing is it to A, score your first goal in Blades Colours, but against the old side? No, it was obviously a great feeling, you know, getting the first one. Um, it was on my mind and I had the sort of woke up with a feeling that I was going to score today. Um, so when it came, I was buzzing. It's funny how players have a knack of scoring against their former clubs. I wonder why that is. <laughs> I just think subconsciously maybe something in the air that's going to, you know, the ball's going to fall my way or and it's going to go in for me, you know. So I was just delighted that it went in and we could get the three points. How much had it been on your mind? Because, you know, it plays on strikers' minds and you're all desperate to get the first one. Yeah, of course. I mean, the moment I made my debut, I mean, it's been on my mind, you know, getting the first one and sort of just building on that. But I'm just happy it's come now and hopefully I can build on it next week and for the rest of the season. And it was part of a very strong performance by Sheffield United because 2-0 today and really might have been more, but for their goalkeeper. Yeah, I mean, Vic's a good goalkeeper, great goalkeeper. I mean... You watch any of their games this season, he's been unreal. And for the past few seasons when he was at Rotherham. But I think it was a professional performance, controlled the game. And, you know, the times that we didn't have the ball and we sat in, we were solid, rigid. So I, can't, I don't think you can ask for much more. How difficult has it been the last couple of weeks? And look, even today, there were very poignant things. The tribute to George Baldock that you as a, a group of players and staff had to deal with and then go out and play a football match. Yeah, I mean, it's tough for uh, everyone, but especially the boys that knew him and were with him every day, the, the manager, the coaches. So it's just sort of getting together as a group and being one and making sure we guide each other and help each other through the, the moments. You know, we're not going to have great moments through the season. we just got to stick together as a team and like we did today and get the three points and a nice tribute to George. How proud are you as a group of players of the home form? Five wins on the spin, not a goal conceded along the way. That's, I mean, if for any team that want to be at the top end of the league, that's massive home form and something that we is important for us. And as the form shows, we're doing well, and we just want to keep that going. How are you finding, in in the more general sense, you know, fitting into this group and and finding your roles within the team? Um, I've enjoyed it. The moment I came in, everyone's been unbelievable with me. Players, I feel right at home now. Like I've been here for years. Um, they've just helped me like settle in and ease into the system, into the group, and everyone's just been great. Is, is there a part of this team or a place in this team that you would prefer to play? Because we've seen you play up front, we've seen you play a little to the left. I don't mind anywhere, really. Anywhere across the front three or just off the striker, lone striker, anywhere I can help the team, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Overall, really, it's been a, an outstanding start, and Sheffield, Sheffield United fans thought the Blades might do OK, and, and you're kind of justifying that tag so far. Yeah, I mean, we've we've been doubted by many, but we're just going about our business, you know, keeping our heads down, game by game, week by week, and we'll just keep doing that. You know, no one's gonna write a loss or anything like that. We'll just keep focusing and keep going.